Exodus 7 is stocked and stacked with numerous life lessons. In this chapter, we see that God forewarns Moses of what he's about to do. That Pharaoh's heart will be hardened through this process and we'll read that it's going to be a process of releasing the people of Israel from Egypt. You see, interestingly, God did not harden Pharaoh's heart against Pharaoh's own desire, but simply God confirmed and affirmed Pharaoh in his inclination against Israel. In this chapter, we learn that Moses was 80 years old and Aaron was 83 when God gave them this new assignment to be the deliverers of Israel. There's a lesson in that. As believers, God always has a purpose for us in every season and wants to do something in us and through us. In chapter 7, we also see that God forewarns Moses and Aaron that when they appear before Pharaoh, he'll ask for a sign. And God shows them how Aaron's shepherd's staff will turn into a snake. What he doesn't tell them is that when this happens, Pharaoh's own wise men turn their staffs into snakes. But Aaron's, well that snake, swallowed the wise men's snakes whole. It's amazing. Chapter 7, it, it ends with the first of the famed ten plagues that come upon Egypt the water of the Nile River, and everywhere else there is water in Egypt, turns to blood. And we see once again that Pharaoh's men are able to duplicate this with water to blood. But I really appreciate what Pastor David Guzik says about this. He said, if the magicians of Egypt really wanted to do a miracle, they should have turned the bloody river clean again. They didn't because it seems that Satan cannot perform a constructive cleansing miracle. He can bring supernatural destruction but not goodness. All they did was make more bloody water. I like that. And this is where we'll close this morning. You see, the plagues that God brought against Egypt had both a strategy and a purpose. You see, in Exodus chapter 5, verse 2, Pharaoh's original question was, who is the Lord that I should obey his voice and let Israel go? And this plague of blood and the nine to follow each reveal the inadequacy of the various Egyptian deities that the Egyptians worshipped. The plagues brought punishment against Egypt and the plagues also answered Pharaoh's question, who is the Lord? Well, the Lord God is greater than any of the other deities of Egypt. You see, the God we serve is all-powerful, all-knowing, and all-loving. And his desire was to see his people set free. Unfortunately, Pharaoh's heart didn't soften, but harden. Don't let that be your experience today. May your heart be soft and pliable before the Lord. You see, you and I, we have a bondage of our own. We may not live in ancient Egypt. We may not be looking for God to send a Moses to deliver us from a Pharaoh. But God did send his son Jesus to deliver us from sin, from bondage and shame, and an eternity separate from him. So today, may your heart be open to our great God who is truly above all, over all and offers salvation to all through his precious son, Jesus.